Okay, okay, what's happening here, Vamina? What are you doing right now? We are waiting for our friend and we are waiting for our Scooty. Waiting for friend and for Scooty? Yes. In the previous video, we showed how we met Vikram Prabhu. We did not know him before, but he knows Rishikesh very well and kindly offered us a tour around Rishikesh. With his help, we managed to rent a Scooty in overcrowded Rishikesh for a day and off we went. Hare Krishna, so we're in this beautiful bridge of Garud Chatti, which is in the northernmost border of Rishikesh. So as you can see, Ganga is very strong here and it's an extremely beautiful place. After this, um, it's not Rishikesh anymore. You're just moving up the Himalayas further and further up towards Dev Prayag and Karna Prayag and further up. I saw some uh, sadhus walking up the, the Himalayas. Yeah, yeah. Going so, so what the sadhus do is that they walk. They walk all the way from Haridwar, all the way up to Gangotri, Yamanotri, Kedarnath, Badrinath and they walk they walk for weeks and months and this is their uh, this is their sadhana this is their life basically you know they don't depend on anyone they just keep walking and just like the sadhus walk the pandavas walk all our acharyas walked madhavacharya walked uh, shankaracharya walked um, lord chaitanya mahaprabhu walked lord balaram walked all of these great personalities they walk this path and soon enough we're going to show you the original path where they walked and it's a beautiful path. So, you ever walked it yourself? Uh, not the entire way, but just some parts I have walked because it's a long way. Yeah, it's so like, it's as, you, as you saw the signboard, it's almost um, 290, 300 kilometers, Badrinath is from here. So, it's going to take a few weeks and months. But there are other devotees who have walked. The Gurukul boys have walked. A lot of devotees have done the walking. There's a Padayatra walking up, up right now, doing oh, Kirtan really? all the way. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. One day. I One day, also. hopefully. I was, up day. To, I was up to Badirat with bus and taxi, but yeah. then I always saw the saddles walking. One day. Should we walk up Badirat? <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would better go on one of those boats. Really? <laughs> they look crazy. Well, we can only do. The road is watching over, huh? This area is called Garud Chatti. This is a very beautiful Garuda temple. It's on the way um, to Badrinath. So this is this particular road. This is the ancient road that all the sadhus would take to go up to Kedarnath, Badrinath, Yamanotri, Gangotri, this particular road. Now there is a proper motorized road the other, uh, the other way, but this is the road that all the ancient sadhus took. We have Garuchetti here. Let's get the blessings of Garuda. Yeah. As Garuda is a Lord's carrier, you know, we take his blessings while we move, move up. Before we see the Lord, we take the mercy of his associates and his devotees. You, know, you have Lord Hanuman, you know, who's always protecting his devotees. You have Garuda, who's also helping and protecting, overseeing the devotees. So they're all devotees of the Lord. And with their mercy, we get to do our pilgrimage in a better way. Uh, the thing about the Himalayas is that Haridwar, like you see mountains and then you go higher up, then you see bigger mountains and bigger mountains. Like here you see, oh, this is the biggest mountain you can see. But then you go right behind this peak, you see another bigger mountain right behind it. And then you go there and then you find another mountain. So like this, the mountains go high, 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 higher up all the way to the heavenly planets. It's just how the Himalayas go all the way up. And Padmini was just asking, will we see snow? So a little further up, if you go a little higher up, then you can see snow. So, like that. That's the beauty of the Himalayas. So, this is, this is a very special place. What you can see, this whole little ashram here that you can see, is called Brahmapuri, right? It's a very, 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 very ancient place. We'll go there in the evening 
uh, a little later. But it's very, it's a very quiet spot, and this is where Lord Ramachandra meditated, and um, before he went to Dev Prayag, and underneath that tree, the first Bhagavatam sermon was given between Narada Muni and the Sanat Kumaras. Ahead is the Janaki Bridge, Mother Sita's bridge. That's a fairly new bridge. So Ram Jula and Lakshman Jula, they're the oldest bridges here. Is it true that Ram and Lakshman is indicating the place where they crossed the Ganga? You can see where Lakshman was, that area is called Tapoban. So Lakshman definitely meditated there and Bharat meditated a little down there. I'll take you there. It's the Bharat Temple. Bharat Maharaj is there. No, not Bharat Maharaj. Bharat is the brother of brother. Lord, Lord Ram. And they say that Lord Ram was here, but what the sadhu said is that he meditated up there in Brahmapuri, not exactly here. But I think what I feel is that because this was the first bridge that they made, so they just named it like Ramchula. This is a very special and old house, as you can see. It's called the Dalmia Koti. Srila Prabhupada had his final pastimes in Vrindavan in 1977 before he left his body. Um, before that, he was in Rishikesh. You know, and you must have seen some videos where he's on the boat. He was in Rishikesh, he was trying to recover his health. And then when he realized, you know, it was not very possible, he just decided to just come to Vrindavan and spend his final days there. So everything was very wonderful in Rishikesh and Prabhupada was very restful and we were having a wonderful time <laughs> and then all of a sudden one day there was this huge storm and it became very cold also, cold, rainy and wind and it was around one o'clock Prabhupada just called me and he told me that the time has come for me to die and I want to die in Vrindavan so make arrangements to take me to Vrindavan and it was such a shock as if it was a bolt from the blue. So that night only we packed everything up and we decided to leave the next morning. And when he was in Rishikesh, this is the exact exact place where he stayed. Prabhupada stayed here. Prabhupada stayed here. We can even go a little bit in here and record. Somehow this place has been uh, untouched with commercialization, even though there has been so much commercialization going on, um, they still have this place exactly as it was 70, 80 years ago, basically. And there are nice sadhus who live here and they do kirtan. And it's a very special place for us. Paramarth Niketan, this is where the famous Ganga Arti happens every day. Basically. And that's Lord Shiva. Some water for Babaji. For the people? Thank you for the meaning.
This place is called Brahmapuri. This is the place where many kalpas ago, during the beginning of creation, Narada Muni and Sanat Kumaras, they discussed Srimad Bhagavatam here. This is where the Sanat Kumaras instructed Narada Muni on the precepts of Bhagavatam, as it's mentioned in Brahad ba uh, Bhagavat Mahatmaya in Padma Puran, basically. This is the exact place because it mentions it was a beautiful place next to the Ganga where they discussed under a banyan tree. So the banyan tree is right there and this is the place where they came and they discussed. It's a very, very beautiful and very special place. Also, um, in Treta Yuga, after Lord Ramachandra defeated Ravan, he was, um, he was feeling a little guilty of um, killing a a Brahmana. Even though Ravan was an Asura, he was from a Brahman family, so he was feeling a little guilty because there was that sin of Brahmahatya. So he wanted to atone for that. So for that, under the guidance of Vashishta Muni, Lord Ramachandra came here, Lakshman came here, Bharat came here, and on the way to Dev Prayag, this is where Lord Ramachandra came and he meditated. Right. So as he was meditating, Ganga, as she was flowing, she was making a lot of noise with her waves so R Lord Ramachandra decided okay you know he can't stay here he has to move on so as he got up to move Ganga Devi came in a personified form and with folded arms said my Lord why is it that you want to go so he's like you know I can't focus here there's too much noise <laughs> so she said okay for you I'm just gonna quiet down so about two to three hundred meters this way and this way this particular area Ganga is super quiet. You can't hear a single noise of any of the waves. And this particular cave, as you can see, this is where Lord Ramachandra sat and he meditated right inside this cave right here. Also, it is said that anyone who is giving Bhagavatam Katha anywhere in the world, one should idly come here and give a Katha here once in his lifetime and then his Katha is perfect. So, Did you give Bhagavatam Plus? No, one? I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm still a kid. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you catch me always in the moment. Yes. Huh? <laughs> uh, Krishna is so wonderful. He's really amazing. He's really amazing. When we came to Rishikesh, we didn't know anything. And it's such a such an important place for Vaishnavas. Um, I just look at the road where all personalities from Bhagavatam went up the hill when they wanted to go to the Himalayas, like Vikram said before, the Pandavas, uh, Ram, his his brothers, the, the, the Goswamis, everyone. So it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a pathway where everyone had to go through, and I'm just looking at it. And here in this particular place. It's really true. You cannot hear Ganga. I mean, how can it be that it's, it's a wide stream and you cannot hear a single sound? I just sit here for 10 minutes and there was a time there were no rafters and you could not hear the water and it was completely peaceful. And it's, it's this, this it's, it, it's a personality. Water, this Ganga is not just water it's just she wants to serve her lord and she wants to do something and for him to please him and uh, this personality just calmed herself down to please the lord and just wonderful to witness and to to, to meet someone who shows you these places. <laughs> <laughs>